Why do bad things happen to good people? Why does God allow bad things to happen to people who go to church, people who participate in good things, people who try to help others, people who are genuinely good? Why do bad things like sickness happen to them? Why do they get burned by other people? Why do bad things happen to good people? That's the gist of the question. And that's an age-old question. Why would God, who is good, allow bad things to happen to people that are trying to be his followers? But I respond with it in this way. The first is, Jesus had bad things happen to him too. Are we different than Jesus? They cursed him. They beat him. They stripped him. They ripped his flesh. They nailed him to a cross. They crucified him. And he was God, is God. He said, if they persecute you, remember they persecuted me first. Jesus does not guarantee happiness in this life. Jesus does not guarantee that we will live a life where we coast along without any worry or concern. Jesus does not promise a life where we will have no sickness or illness. Bad things will be freed from us. If anything, in my experience, the closer we get to God, the more struggles we have, the more temptations we have, the more bad things happen to us because it's the devil or whomever trying to pull us away from God. And if they win, we go to hell. If we are genuinely trying to grow in our spiritual life, we will have all kinds of temptations, all kinds of bad things will happen because the devil, the demons, the spirits, whatever you want to call them, are going out of their way to poke us and prod us and show us, look what happened. You tried to get closer to God and bad things have happened. If you just stop getting closer to God, it'll stop. The devil doesn't need to tempt or torment people that are already in his pocket. The devil doesn't need to harass people who are already destined for hell. The devil doesn't need to torment anyone who's not already in his camp. Look at Job. He had everything right, and he lost everything. He was a good person. The devil didn't win, did he? Because Job never cursed God. Sometimes bad things happen to good people, not as punishment. Sometimes it's a cross that they have to carry, a cross that will show them something about themselves. Let's imagine that it's sickness, a sickness they can't get rid of, a terminal illness maybe. What they do in response to that tells us more about them than anything. Look at John Paul II, who is a saint. How he suffered in his latter years with Parkinson's disease. He was a saint, and he suffered every day. And he did it willingly. He did not ask for assisted suicide. He didn't ask for someone to take him out of the spotlight. He wanted to show people redemptive suffering. What did he do that deserved suffering like that? But maybe he offered that suffering for the world or for the souls that needed it. Maybe he offered it for people who were in situations they couldn't control. Sometimes bad things happen to good people because they learn from it, or because they grow from it, or because they take what they have in that suffering and give it for other people's sanctification. We don't know why bad things happen. But every time it happens to a good person, <coughs> how many people benefit from it? How many people benefited from Jesus suffering on the cross? How many people have benefited from the suffering of martyrs? 
How many people have benefited from the witness of faith all the way to the end of people who were good and holy their whole lives? We don't know why people suffer. Even God knows, only he does. But we all gain something from it. So I hope that answers the question, at least in some sense, that sometimes bad things happen for reasons that are choices that other people made, not the person who's suffering. Sometimes God allows these things to happen for his own reasons. But remember, if Jesus suffered, maybe we'll have to suffer something too. Not the same way, but you never know.